Hi and welcome to another Excel VBA screencast on Brobys.com. Today we're going to do some finance. We're going to I'm going to show you a forward curve function that'll create a forward curve from a given yield curve. This is going to be an array function, and as in as with any array function in Excel, when we enter the function, we're going to enter it for um, a specific range, and when we enter it, we're going to instead of just pressing enter, we're going to press Control Shift Enter, and that's going to enter the forward curve. Um, for this particular yield curve. So I'm just going to show you the function real quick. Um, we have our yield curve here and to enter the forward curve we're going to select a range that's one less than our yield curve and that's for obvious reasons because if we uh, want to calculate the six month forward for a 30 year term uh, we need the 30.5 year rate and we don't have that in our yield curve so it's going to give us an error in value. It's not going to be able to do the right interpolation. So we're going to select one less than what we have. We're going to enter the function. It's just forward curve. And then we have three parameters in the function. The first parameter is the forward term. So right now it's going to be uh, equal to 0.5 or 6 months. We're going to lock that in and we're going to see how we can change that after and it will update dynamically. We're going to put our, our second uh, parameter in this function is the term or the, the series of numbers that make up our term. And then we're going to put the corresponding yields as our last uh, parameter. And again, when we go to enter the function, it's not just enter, it's control shift enter. And that's going to give us our forward curve. And what's nice about this is that we can adjust it to, if we don't want the six month forward anymore, we can adjust it to one year and it will update automatically, two years update automatically. One thing to note is we won't be able to put any more than a, the five year forward term because again, if we want to calculate the 5.5 year forward on a 30 year term, we're going to need the, uh, or on the, sorry, on a 25 year term, we're going to need the 30.5 year rate, which we don't have uh, given our yield curve. So that's pretty much the, it for the function. It's pretty simple. I'm going to go show you a little bit of the VBA code that's used to create this. This is all on uh, breadweeds.com if you want to take a look at the code if you want to download the workbook and check it out. Uh, a couple things to note about the code. We have three functions. The first function is the main function that I typed in. Uh, it's going to use a loop here to create uh, a vector fill, filled with our appropriate forward rates. And then it's going to pass that vector to the forward curve function. And when we press Control Shift Enter, it's going to enter in uh, the appropriate forward rates. One other thing to note, I used uh, the data type variant for the term and the spot rates. This is so if we want to use this in another function, say we want to price uh, swaptions and we need the forward curve, we can pass this function as, as a vector to that function uh, without any problems instead of passing it as a range. So this function runs and then it calls uh, for each time that we want to calculate a forward rate, it's going to calculate or it's going to call the function forward rate which is right here, it's going to pass at the appropriate T1 and T2 as well as our, our term and um, yields and then we're going to calculate RT and R, RT1 and RT2 using a spline interpolation function. So this the spline interpolation function is just a function that I use instead of uh, linear interpolation. It gives a little better, um, it creates an actual curve instead of uh, straight lines in between the points. And then we're going to calculate our forward rate and we're going to loop through the function until we've calculated each forward rate. I'll show you the spline interpolation function quickly. Um, the spline interpolation function, I did not write all of this function. I, I adapted it from some code I found on the internet. Cannot find it again to give it the appropriate source, but it's really great. I'll show you to you. I'll show this to you in another video uh, how it works and how it compares to linear interpolation. But just know that it creates a smooth curve between the points instead of a straight line. And we can also use that spline interpolation function. Say we don't want the five-year uh, term on a two-year forward. Say we want the six-year term. We could type in our spline interpolation function. Um, our first parameter will be the six. That's the that's the term we want to find. And then as our two uh, param two next parameters, we can select our term, and we can select our forward curve. And then that will give us 
put that in percent. And that will give us our two year, six year term forward rate um, two years ahead. So that's about it. Just wanted to show you that function. Uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube and you want to see the code or the workbook, uh, head over to browse.com and you'll find this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.